Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your audio quality in your videos. So first of all we have here the program voice meter and I'm going to show you immediately how to get it. There are two links in the description I will show you and the first one is this one. So it says up here voice meter you go down you can click download uh, now but it will take you the same thing which is uh, right here. So you can go rather for zip or an X file I recommend zip of course and um, yeah, then that's one thing, so be sure that that is installed, and then you click on uh, install the setup, and then the second one, is actually just next to it, is the virtual audio cable. Be sure you have this one too, it's really important actually, this is really important, so you scroll down once again and you have the uh, download button right here. And then both, yeah, start the setup, click on installation, you have to restart your computer actually, and uh, then they will both work, so uh, yeah, be sure that that's all done, download it and well. And uh, so if you're here, uh, the first thing you have, you don't have what I'm you currently have, okay? You have something different, looks different. Let, let me go through things one by one. So first of all here you have the hardware input. And um, be sure at first that it is a WDM. So it has to be in any case a WDM for this one because it's just the best. And in this one you want your microphone. So as you can see mine is checked on the microphone Yeti stereo microphone because I have a blue Yeti. And... Um, so be sure that this is checked so it could be another of course another microphone for you depends which microphone you have but yeah just be sure it's your microphone here at a WDM your microphone and here I'm gonna go through it um, a little bit like this so this is basically really important because this is gonna make your sound this is the main thing that is gonna make your sound yeah sound better you know so I'm actually gonna do something here afterwards but I'm first of all gonna show you uh, through the other thing so this is this one this tab is actually the most important one if you're recording because now we're going over here as you can see it's for minus 8.5 for me and that is basically the gain okay so it's the gain is the it's called fader gain and uh, basically messes with your sound it can go uh, i believe my sound my voice goes a little bit up and down now but basically what this means is that this is um least hard uh, least um how to say it yeah least harder and this one is gonna go there's more volume in it, you know, the audio is going to be more. So you don't want it too much down like this. It's going to sound really bad and it's going to sound really hard. So you just want it to be on minus 8.5, something like that. I recommend something like this between 9 and uh, 8 or 10 maybe. And then, yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's uh, it for this. Here you have nothing to do, but you have to put this on mono though. Be sure that this and this is checked on mono, really important. For the rest, do not really have to touch this. Don't worry about it. Then we go over here. Be sure that this all, both of the two checked on stereo repeat. And then you can be sure that that's okay. So be sure that these two are on stereo repeat. Now this one, this is pretty important. Um, just click on here, by the way, it doesn't matter. And this is why you uh, installed the second one, the cable input, because you need it right here. You need it as an MME, so not a uh, WDM, but here you need a MME. And be sure it's your cable input in this case, no matter what you're using uh, next to it, be sure that this is your cable input. Not your speakers, not your, not the speakers from a microphone, you know, when I use my earpads or something. No, you have to be sure that this is on the cable input, the VB Audio Virtual C. You have this because you installed it with the first voice meter setup, if everything is good. So be sure that... Uh, now you actually, this is the part that I'm going to show you how to improve actually the quality. So... I have to change this for a second. I'm going to bring it to my speakers. Everything is good. You can hear my voice twice or something like that. It's really confusing for me, but uh, okay. So here we have the place where um, actually the most of the sound will be changed. So I'm going to drag this and you can hear the difference like in uh, what I'm doing. So I'm going to bring it uh, to here. And as you can hear here, this this is just bad. It's just a crappy sound. You don't want this. So I really strongly advise to get away from the high pitch here, depending on your microphone, of course, eh? because if it works good, if the high ones works good with your microphone, I, I would recommend it. But otherwise, this, this is just crap. You don't want this kind of audio. So if you bring it up, you can see that there's an ego or something that's audit, an ego. An echo and yeah here you can see it becomes to start getting uh, warmer the sound that you want you know but this is still a little bit like uh, an ego in it you don't want it 
So that's why we come to the conclusion that this tab here sounds just, as you can hear, generally the best for, I think, most microphones. It really depends on which one you have, but as you can hear, I think this will work for almost any microphone. So you can put it right here. This is a little bit harder sound, a harder and a larger sound. And right here, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of low in volume, so you can put it right here. I have it like something like here, all right? So I, I have it actually saved, but uh, yeah, I have it something like this. So if you have like this right now, you should have a better quality audio just generally. And uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty easy to install. Be sure to install voice meter and um, I'm actually going to change it because this makes me a little bit crazy. Be sure that this is actually, um, how you say it, that you have also the cable input installed. The two links in the description are really important. I think for rest, I do not have to add a lot anymore. Um, just... Yeah, just be sure that um, you mess a little bit around as you can hear. You have to change it here into your speakers and you should be hearing so you can judge what sounds the best for your microphone. But anyway, um, I hope this tutorial helped you out and uh, just generally improving your audio. And um, I will just show you one thing, by the way, still. If you have all this done and you want to save it, you go to menu and go to save settings. And then you save it as whatever you want. And uh, it should be... Uh, yeah, it should just come up and it's folder like this. It's called an uh, XML document. Just just type in the title here and save it. So yeah, that's, that's, that is really everything for this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. And um, be sure, because I used this in my previous tutorial on how to get your best OBS recording settings. So if you want to see that too, you can always check my previous video on my channel. And uh, for the rest, I just want to say thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.